workshop uh, in a yarn shop here in Belgium. Uh, so today I'm going to take you along with me. It's going to be a color work workshop um, for a hat and it's going to be for first time color work knitters. So that's all very exciting. So I'm going to show you the story. I hope I will remember to record some footage because during a workshop things can get very bu very busy so um yeah but I guess... The workshop was loads of fun um, but it, it's always I don't know what it is for me I'm so tired afterwards I don't know if it's the, um, the talking or uh, the two-hour drive uh, back and, and forth um, but yeah yesterday I didn't really work <laughs> um, I, I packed some Christmas gifts and I went to a uh, thrift shop which I showed you they had a Christmas uh, collection um, and a vintage Christmas uh, section which was really really cool and I got some uh, little tidbits there um, and oh by the way the workshop was for my Finn hat which is a color work hat and this is actually a free pattern on my blog um, and it's uh, it's great as a first color work project 
and um, during the workshop I taught them how to uh, knit color work with both hands and I taught them some extra tips and tricks that I don't uh, mention the pattern um, but yeah it's a really fun pattern I've made several so far I think about five or six of these and they're really fun uh, this one uses Scapius Namaste and I've also made a couple using Scapius Chunky Monkey and two of the ladies in the workshop were also using Chunky Monkey and um, yeah it's just a great alternative if you don't like using wool um, so yeah those are really fun um, and by the way, if you would want to learn how to knit color work, I got a color work masterclass on my Patreon page, and I really, really recommend it because, um, yeah, for a beginner, you get all of the techniques there. And even if you already know how to knit color work, uh, I bet I can teach you some things. So, so that was really fun. Um, I. I uh, worked on my Christmas cards, which I can't show you yet. <laughs> um, and I published the pattern for uh, two of my lace sock designs. So these are the Cottage Dream socks. And I still have them on my pretty wooden sock blockers. And <laughs> these are knee high, so I can't put these on uh, sock blockers. But these are the woodsy socks, and I am going to make so many more pairs of knee highs because it is so, it just, it just, it is just so fun to um, add a layer um, over my tights. So uh, if I wear a dress or a skirt and I layer these over my tights, I think it's, you know, it's not just extra warm, but it's also extra classy and it makes you look very put together uh, but also I have snuck these under my uh, jeans uh, for some extra warmth too because I get cold all the time so uh, yeah I'm gonna make some more of these so they have uh, they are toe up both of the sock patterns are toe up and um, you then only do the lace on the top of the foot and there's a gusset here shirt your heel and then heel flap and then after that you have the lace all around the foot and yeah I love these I did not increase any stitches for the uh, for the calves um, um, I think it's easier that you know you just try them on and if you need them to be uh, wider that you just go of a needle size because I think that looks prettiest if you don't add any more stitches but if you want to add stitches there are some uh, knit columns for example this one see it's 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 just a column of knit and in the in the chart you can see that really well that it's just knit stitches on top of each other um, and yeah I think those would be good places to add any additional stitches and you could do that either on each side or if you just want to add one stitch maybe just on the back uh, so yeah have a play with that if you um, if you want to modify it like that um, and the patterns are now both for sale in my Ravelry shop and in my new leaf web shop which is just newleafdesigns.nl slash shop but if you go to the home page you can also see the shop page um, and on Ravelry I have a, uh, a bundle discount so if you buy both patterns um, separately they are $6.99 uh, six euros 99 and if you buy them together it's only 10 euro um, and on Ravelry that is all automatically uh, applied if you add both to your cart but on my website you will then need to uh, put in the discount code lace because otherwise um, I can't you know I can't have it that it does it automatically or 
maybe I'll have to add another plugin to to do that but yeah um, I'll figure that out some other time <laughs> so uh, so on my website you need the code lace all in lower caps on um, and on Ravelry it's all automatical and today which is Friday I'm going to see my mom and uh, we're just going to knit together and um, and go over recipes that we want to make for Christmas and I'm bringing my uh, Colorwork cardigan this one uh, it's called the Saga cardigan by Jabu 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 guard um, and um, yeah we're just going to knit <laughs> 